In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Mark Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about a GUI example. Now I download this GUI from Macwork File Exchange. I think it's a good example, and I want to share to the beginner. Now this GUI example is very short, but because it is short and easy to understand, that's why it's good to share. Now, let us me run the GUI. When I run the GUI, you see one, two, three, four. I delete a string, and then I um. You see, I delete the three, I delete the four, and I set one, I delete the string, I delete one, and then the rest I delete two, and that's it. Now, it's good for the beginner to learn from the basic, and also some sometimes I, for me, I forget something. It is good to reveal some basic stuff. Let's see the code. Now, there is um, a couple key parts. Number one is the figure part, and there are the second part are the UI control. Now, there are two UI control. You can see one of them is a list table, one of them is a push button. Now, let's us focus on the figure first. You see the number title? Uh, in there, there is a um, property number title. If I from turn it from off to on, you can see um, you see a figure, figure one, GUI one on there. The menu bar, if I turn it from, um, if I remove this menu bar syntax, oh, I cannot do that. Well, let me delete it for temporary. Delete that, I cannot just comment, put the comment on there. Okay, I delete it, and then run it. Now you can see actually like the figure and all those stuff is like just a few things. Okay, you can see like now I have the menu bar so showing up. Now, so what that means is the default there is the menu bar. We want the figure. The first property is units, is pixel. It's like normally how we do it. The second property we want like position. Okay. The position basically is tells you where will you put the GUI and the size of the GUI. You see, when I change the number from 500 to 800, you can see the position of the GUI has been changed, right? Okay, so number one, we need to set the unit. Number two, set the position. If you want to set the menu bar, then do the menu bar. If you want to set the name, you can set it to be GUI one, uh, the lump title, and the resize is quite simple okay now UI control in here there is a UI control is a list table s dot ls it can be anything okay you can see there is a one two three four if I delete the four you can see there is only one two three that is what string I'm going to display at the beginning of the uh, of the list table okay now um now the next UI control is a push button. You can see there is a style is push, the position is a, a a set of value, the fun size, and there is a callback function. What is the callback function? The callback function is when you press the uh, button, what it's going to do in here is a PB push button call. It can be any names. You don't have to follow that. It can be anything. So in here, the first thing is, it we get the string. What is the string inside the list table? So we use the function get. Then I call the list table. What is the function in the list table? And then I have the value. Which one I select? Okay. So after I do the debug, and I I do, I I I stop in there. You can see the L have two cell 
the first cell is the string the second cell is where I push so in here the second value is number three because I I press the third string so here you can see this syntax this statement is if is if L1 is not empty then we are going to we are going to delete the string of like the value at the value that I select and then I set it back okay so the set value is set the list table string value set and then because like, the L1 has been updated so I set the value you know, the L1 new value and then you see the uh, VAL the while and one now I do not understand why the original programmer have those function but let's see why let we, we can try to remove it and then see now I delete it I want it I want the program again want the program again it is the same okay do it again the same thing now so in here we can see actually like the set value we don't have to have like the last two items where while you're the one we don't have to do that okay so but but um to respect the original programmer let's keep it there because he programmed in that way okay if your research or engineering projects are falling behind eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.